Hey Eagles, I wanted to make a quick video about some of your art supplies. So I've had some parents who have asked me if my kids are gonna be making art at home, what might they need? And you don't have to buy any of these materials, but if you just wanna have like your own art kit at home. So the first thing we have, and I'll post a picture of this list, is for the drawing unit. So for drawing unit, we just have pencils, just regular pencils with erasers. Um, a ruler and paper and this is just regular copy paper it's a larger paper that you can get I tell the kids you can get a whole pack of 500 sheets of copy paper at Walmart for three dollars add it on to your grocery pickup and you don't even have to go inside um, some people ask about sketchbooks I have a lot of emails about sketchbooks it doesn't matter where you buy them from you know the ones that Michaels that are $15 are probably just as good as the ones that you can get at the dollar store. Um, these are some that Santa Claus brought my girls. These are from Walmart. Um, it'll say on there medium weight paper. The heavier weight of the paper, the more uh, liquid it would hold. So obviously if, if you have a lightweight paper, I wouldn't paint on it. Um, but this brand, oh, my girls paint on at home and it does good obviously if you put too much water then it's gonna all crumble apart but that part doesn't matter for watercolor which these are super fun to do at home these are watercolor sets that I buy for the classroom but any watercolor set will do whenever you open them up parents this is a good tip I go ahead and take out the brown and the black because if you have students then they like to take the black and mix them all and then there goes your whole set so i just pop out the black and the brown if they want to use it then it's a separate one um watercolor sets are good and they're easy obviously all you need is water i literally use a dog bowl um and paint brushes you don't have to buy expensive paint brushes because your children will more than likely ruin them if you want to do watercolor you want the paintbrush with the fluffy hair because the fluffy hair holds more water and if you're just doing regular acrylic or tempera paint, you can just use regular paint brushes. You can get, I know on Amazon, a box of probably 50 of these, which y'all don't need 50 for about 10 bucks. The other type of paint that's really good for elementary kids, these are called tempera cakes, which you can see these were from last year. So they get messy, but they have a really dark pigment, which is kind of what the kids are looking for when they use watercolor. Again, I pop out the brown and the black, but with the colors, you can actually put water in the trays and they just wet their paintbrush and they go in the cake and then they can do it. And to dry, you just leave them open and they'll dry just like the watercolor sets. These are good. This is a liquid tempera paint. I think this came from Hobby Lobby. Sometimes the liquid kind, and it's washable, will smell because it has an egg in it. So if you ever, if your paper starts stinking, sometimes that's it. These are also really good. These are washable paints from Crayola. They don't smell. I got this set. I think they order them off Amazon. Sometimes they have limited color, but Crayola brand is good. If you get, this is just what I had in my cabinet. This is acrylic paint. If it says acrylic, it will not come out of your clothes. Even on here, I think it says, may come out of, colors may stain clothing. So we just don't do this. Um, but if you're painting rocks or anything that you want to last that is gonna be in the weather, then yes, you need acrylic paint. You just need to cover your body and your hands because it'll get all over your hands. Um, if we are moving on, I'm going down my list. Dry media. You might see that in some of my lessons and you're like, I have no idea what that is. That's anything that is obviously dry. Um, but like your crayons, your twistables, parents, kids love a good twistable. Markers, thin markers, thick markers. Um, that's what I'm meaning by dry media. If you're moving on to collage, some of you have been working on some collage self-portraits I have seen. Obviously scissors, glue, liquid glue, Blue sticks, those are good. I tell the kids all the time to go raid their recycling bin. Um, they love toilet paper tubes, which would bring us into sculpture. 
with sculpture. I know a lot of kids want to do clay. I don't think at this point, even if we came back, that we could use clay. Um, but these are a good alternative appearance. You can buy this. This is like a air drying clay, a modeling clay. Play-Doh is fantastic. Obviously, Play-Doh is not going to last, but with these, if they, whatever they make, it'll dry. It's air dry clay. This was given to me, but I'm sure they have it at Walmart. For Sculpture Suit, buy them a box of Popsicle Sticks, three bucks. Um, and those work really good too. Uh, parents, I tell your students, my students, your kids, all the time, do not go ask for money or for these materials, then they need to be doing some chores and raise the money so that they can earn these things. And all of our projects that we are doing during the e-learning will not require you to buy any of these materials. So we try to be a little bit flexible, but I know some parents like to have these almost like starter kits at home. But if you have any questions, just email me, abby.swingross at lincolncharter.org.